Bed mass is a memory aid that helps you remember the order of operations. First, let's look at the last two we do, which are addition and subtraction. None of these problems have anything else. They're all just pluses and minuses. The thing you have to know about the addition and subtraction and bed mass is that the addition does not have to be done first. Addition and subtraction are actually in a tie. How do we decide which one to do first? Let's look at some examples. Here, we have two pluses. Let's try doing this problem, doing the first plus first. 8 plus 5 is 13. So we have 13 plus 1, the answer will be 14. If we do the second plus first, we have 5 plus 1, which is 6. We write 8 plus 6. And the answer is again 14. So when you have more than one plus sign, it doesn't really matter which order you do them in. Let's see if it's the same with minus signs. 8 minus 5 is 3, and 3 minus 1 is 2. But if we do the second minus sign first, 5 minus 1 is 4, so we have 8 minus 4, and 8 minus 4 is 4. We got two different answers. Minus signs introduce something tricky into this. Which is the right answer? The first one is. Now let's look at this third example where I have a mixture of minus and plus. If we do this minus first, 8 minus 5 is 3, we have 3 plus 1, and 3 plus 1 is 4. If we do the plus over here first, 5 plus 1 is 6, so I get 8 minus 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. The answers are different again. The minus sign is causing some problems. Again, this is the wrong answer, and this is the right answer. So the rule that we have to learn with addition and subtraction and bed mass is you don't always have to do addition first. What you have to do is do the leftmost one first. For all three of these problems, we should do the first operation first, get an answer, and then do the second operation, and then we will always get our question right. Now let's look at the division and multiplication part of our bed mass memory aid. Division and multiplication are like addition and subtraction. You don't have to do the division first all the time. They're actually in a tie. And how do you break that tie? In the same way. You do the one that appears further to the left first. Let's look at this first example that has only multiplications in it. 12 times 6 is 72 times 2. 72 times 2 is 144. If I do the second multiplication first, I get 12 times the answer of 6 times 2 is 12. I will get 12 times 12. And 12 times 12 is still 144. So like with addition, if you have a whole bunch of multiplication signs and nothing else, it doesn't matter which one you do first. What about divided by signs? If we do the first one first, 12 divided by 6 is 2. And we have 2 divided by 2. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. If we do the second divided by first, 6 divided by 2 is 3. This becomes 12 divided by 3. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. It's happened again. We're getting two different answers, like we did when we had two minus signs. So divided by signs, like minus signs, introduce something tricky, and we have to be careful how we apply our rule. The last example has a mixture of divided by and times. 12 divided by 6 is 2. I end up with 2 times 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. If I do it in the other order, if I do this multiplication first, 6 times 2 is 12. This is going to become 12 divided by 12. And 12 divided by 12 is 1. It happened again. We got two different answers. Remember to always do the first of your multiple divided by and times signs. Do the first one first, reading from left to right. That means this was a wrong answer. This was a wrong answer. The rule is very similar to the rule for addition and subtraction. You definitely have to do all your division and multiplication 
before you start doing any addition and subtraction. But when you have multiple division and multiplications, you don't have to do divided by first all the time. You do whichever one you got to first, reading left to right. Now let's do a couple of problems that combine division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. In the first problem, we have 11 times 3 minus 15 divided by 5. For now, we're just going to ignore this minus because we know that division and multiplication have to be done before subtraction. So as long as there are divisions and multiplications in the problem, we should be worrying about them first and leave addition and subtraction for later. We have a multiplication and a division. Which one do we do first? We know that division and multiplication are actually in a tie, and we don't have to do division first. We have to do whichever one came first when we were reading left to right. We have to do that first. Of the times and the divided by, this came first, so I do it right away. 11 times 3 is 33. And then I just copy down everything else that's in the problem. Minus 15 divided by 5. I don't want to rush over and start doing this division right away. I want to be careful. And the best way to be careful with a bed mass problem is for each operation you do, you write a line. If we have a problem with three operators like we do here, we're going to end up writing three lines. Now, looking at what we have left, we have a subtraction and a division. And we know the division has to come first before the subtraction. So we're going to do 15 divided by 5, which is 3. The rest of the problem, we just copy down. 33 minus 3 is all that's left. Now that there's only one operator left, it's safe to do our subtraction. 33 minus 3 is 30. In the second example, I made it look a little confusing because all the numbers are 2's. But we don't have to worry about confusion. We just have to apply the rule of bed mass. We have addition, division, subtraction. The division has to be done before any additions or subtractions. So we're going to focus on this middle part. We're going to only do that operation, and we're going to copy the rest of the problem down. I'll copy down the 2 plus. Then 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I put the answer there. And then I copy down the minus 2. Now, we have an addition and a subtraction. They're in a tie. We break the tie by reading from left to right. The first one we get to is this. 2 plus 1 is 3. And we're copying down the minus 2. Finally, all that's left is the subtraction. 3 minus 2 is 1. We have our answer. 